let's talk about conditional breakpoints consider this scenario where you have a component which renders some button and on click of this button it will fetch some data now we have set a breakpoint here at the start of the render and our expectation is that when the data is fetched then this breakpoint should get should get hit so we can see or debug the data now we'll try it out but before that notice that we have a watch expression on the right hand side which says what is the value of props.repo data so whenever you get stopped at this breakpoint we should be able to see if data is available or not so let's click on that button but notice that initially repo data is undefined even if I let it go or resume for a few times it might be undefined and now after two three times we finally have the repo data available right so this is the scenario we wanted to debug for this is a scenario we wanted to wait for but with a normal breakpoint you cannot do that it will get hit whenever that function is called so what can we do about this let's go to that breakpoint you can right click and edit a breakpoint and make it a conditional breakpoint so what a conditional breakpoint does is that you can put an expression to the conditional breakpoint so we'll write something like props.repo data not equal to equal to undefined and what this will do is that whenever this function is called plus this expression is true so whenever this function is called and repo data is available only then stop at this breakpoint so we'll do the fetch repos again and see what happens so now we should have to wait for multiple seconds before it actually gets hit but whenever it gets hit the data should already be available right so this is the scenario we are waiting for so that is how we use conditional breakpoints you set it inside a function or a method which might get called multiple times but you really want to wait for one particular scenario.